Hey y'all, welcome to my four month post VSG update. How are you? It is good to see you here. I am four months post op and I feel great. Let me tell you how I'm doing. I had vertical sleeve gastrectomy on October 20th, 2016 in Morristown, New Jersey. My high weight day of surgery was 265. I did not have a pre op diet. Last month, I came to you at 214, and this month, I am 203.9. So that means I lost 10.1 pounds this month and 61.6 pounds since surgery, which I am so excited about. Uh, in my month one, I lost 30 pounds. Month two, 10.3, then 10.7, and this month, 10.1. So to be roughly at 10 pounds a month, um, Still, I think that's great. I'm really, really happy. Honestly, I feel like I'm starting to get the hang of this, even though it's been tough this month. But I feel like I'm working really hard, and I feel like I finally deserve it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, the first couple months, it was... I'm not going to say easy, but I think the weight was coming off without as much effort. And uh, this month, I'm really exercising and... I feel like in addition to the physical restriction I feel because of my sleeve, I'm having to like choose to not eat <laughs> certain things um, or like certain amounts that I could eat physically. So um, so this month I feel like I've had to make choices and, um, and because of that this month I think was a little bit tougher. But also because of that I feel proud of my accomplishments. I mean, like I said, 10 pounds in the fourth month, I think is pretty good. So, um, yeah, as far as my measurements go, I'm not going to bore you with everything, but I lost 4.5 inches. I normally do, uh, like neck, arms, uh, bust, waist, hips, thigh. Last month, I think I only lost like three. This month I lost four and a half, but my biggest success, um, is just crazy to me is that my waist uh, before surgery was 51 and a half inches and as of today it is 39 inches which means in four months I've lost 12 and a half inches just in my waist which I am just like <laughs> that's ridiculous also I don't know if you can tell in this light or in this shirt <laughs> but I'm starting to see collarbones which I'm really excited about and um, when I lay down I can feel my ribs and and that's kind of new <laughs> so I'm definitely noticing physical changes in my body um, as far as what I eat, typically, I will tell you that this month I averaged 960 calories a day, 96 grams of protein, 44 grams of fat, 53 grams of carbs, I don't do net carbs, and 9 grams of fiber. However, I have started taking uh, fiber supplements, fiber gummies this month, so that 9 grams of fiber is just um, from food. I also get an additional 5 grams of fiber from uh, gummy supplements, and... I feel like that has worked wonders for me. <laughs> Initially, I said the jury was still out. The jury has returned, and it is a success. I couldn't recommend the fiber supplements more positively. So that's been good. Um, also, I've been exercising a lot. The last couple weeks, I've um, even though I don't really like to run, I've started kind of jogging, and um, I don't enjoy it, <laughs> but I do it because I can, and it feels really good to, like, physically be able to do that. So um, I'm sure it'll pass. I'm sure one day I'll just be like so over it. But um, for the last couple of weeks, it's just like new and exciting to be able to just run. I've been doing 5Ks on my lunch break, um, generally under like 39 minutes. Today I did it at 37 minutes. So um, roughly there. I mean, it's not a great pace, but I'm getting better. And like I said, it's just, it's exciting to be able to do that. Um, also, let's talk hair loss. If you take a look at this picture here, you will see on the left, this is what my hair loss looked like before surgery, and on the right, this is what it looks like now. Um, yeah, I have thick hair, yeah, it's always fallen out a lot, but it is definitely getting worse now. So, um, what do you do? You just live with it. I mean, I guess maybe for some people it's worse if their hair is, like, thinner or finer, but my hair is so thick, I feel like... I really can't tell except for when I wash my hair, so it just like comes out like in by the handfuls. Um, so I'm washing my hair a little less frequently. I wash my hair like twice a week now. Um, I use a uh, dry shampoo in between and um, I'm doing okay. It's fine. I mean, it's not a huge deal. It'll grow back, whatever. It's just like everywhere. <laughs> it's, uh, it's always been everywhere, but now worse than ever. So um, mm, trying to clean up as much as I can. Uh, what else? I, I, okay, so I just wanted to say that, like, I finally, 
I feel like I'm in a really good place and I'm not gonna say the words of like, if I didn't lose another pound, I'd be happy because that's not true. I really super wanna keep going, obviously. But I feel like maybe this is like a set point for me or this is just like where a place where my body is really comfortable being. Um, I, f I feel like, okay, you know how some people lose a lot of weight and they say that like, they still think of themselves as like this inner fat kid and like that's just how they'll always perceive themselves. Maybe I was in denial for most of my life, but I, I never really let my weight hinder my activity. Um, Chevy Rell had a video where she described feeling the same way very recently. Um, I'll link to it down below. But I, I guess I, um, I feel like this is the real me in a sense this is the way I'm meant to feel and the way I'm meant to look and um, and I was thinking about why why do I feel this way well one because I feel really healthy like I feel like I can the running has like really um, made me feel good about myself but I just feel like I'm in a healthy place I feel like I look good my clothes fit nicely um, I bought some jeans recently and they were size 14 so technically I mean definitely still plus size I'm definitely still obese but you know I just I feel like I feel like I look good I feel like I'm in a healthy space. Also, I, so when I started high school, I was uh, 200 pounds. So like roughly what I am now. And that was kind of like, that was, that was my just kind of natural weight. Um, my senior year of high school, I got down to 175 and stayed there. And then the summer after my senior year of high school, uh, my dad was diagnosed with cancer and died really fast. <laughs> in uh, six months, I went from 175 to 230. Um, and then stayed between 2.30 and 2.10 for a long time. And then uh, my husband and I started dating and then we got married. But when we started dating, I went from 2.30 to 2.65 and then just stayed there for a few years. So I, I don't know, I feel like the jump from that 175 to the 2.30 happened so fast that it's hard to explain, but it feels like everything after that was not where I was supposed to be. I mean, yeah, that was, 12 years ago, but it felt like that wasn't where my body was naturally comfortable. I just, I actively felt overweight all that time. Whereas when I was around 200, I, di I guess I didn't really feel overweight. I mean, I did, I was always like the big girl in school or whatever, but you know, like I wasn't as incredibly uncomfortable with my body physically as I was at 265. So anyway, it's like right now, so I'm at two, what did I say, 203.9? I'm kind of in that middle of when I went from 175 to 230 that like I never, it happened so fast that I never felt that in between time. But I know 200 is kind of like a good comfortable spot for my body. So um, I feel good. I'm definitely not like gonna, I don't know that I could stop losing weight, um, but I'm not planning to or anything. I'm definitely going to keep working at it, but um, I, ju I just feel like I'm in a, I'm in a really good place. Sorry. I'm, I'm so rambly. <laughs> um, but, but yeah, so, so that's my update for the month. I'm going to uh, do a quick body shot, show you what I look like. And then at the end, I'm going to show some pictures that show um, where I was at the start of this journey where I was last month and where I was this month. And you know what's crazy is that when I looked at the pictures from month two to month three, I feel like I didn't really notice much of a difference. But from last month to this month, I feel like I see it more. So um, <laughs> take a look at the pictures. Let me know what you think. Uh, thanks so much. Please like and subscribe. And I will uh, show you what I look like. All right, here we go. <laughs> okay, so um, I'm just going to show you what I look like. Um, Okay, so uh, this is, I don't know if you can see, but my scars um, are still pretty visible. They're, they're pretty dark, but I have these four scars. These two are little, these two are bigger. The one right above my belly button is where my, um, is where my stomach came out. So that one, I feel like it's a little bit indented, but the other ones are perfectly flat. I do put lotion on them at night. Um, so anyway, that's my, how my scars look. And uh, in terms of my uh, body, this is what I look like. Um, my arms, I say this every time, but they're definitely the part I hate or dislike the most. Um, they've always been big, and if I lose weight, they're just gonna get jangly, so that's just the way of it, oh well. <laughs> um, my stomach, I definitely still have the like pouch, mother's apron, or whatever you call it, but it's getting smaller, it's definitely deflating, so um, I feel better about that, I guess. 
And then I'll show you uh, from the side, from the back. I definitely still have some of this, although I think it's getting better. I mean, not all the way there, but it's getting better. It's not like, you know, not that bad, I guess. And from the side and from the front. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to show you those pictures. Thanks so much for watching. <laughs>